Okay, in today's video, we're gonna make the axle stubs for these tires. You could easily use a bolt or something, but I bought this one inch steel bar that we're gonna machine down on the lathe. Just because if I have it, I might as well use it. First off, I gotta clean it up because it's still set up for when I machined that hockey puck, which was a failed project. Just getting everything set up, and you wanna make sure that your cutting bit is as close to the center as possible, which we are. The first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna face the end off and that will help square it up. All right, now I just gotta take a measurement of what I gotta work with. So roughly 87 millimeters. So now we're just drilling the hole. This will be so our live center can sit in there. And we're also gonna have to drill it out bigger so we can tap it to the size that we need. Well, I got everything set up. I'm not building fucking rocket ship so I don't have to have it perfect. Now let's start machining this. You could extend the life of these carbide bits by properly cooling them but the spray bottle works just fine for me for now, for as much as I use it. Ooh, might be a bit big yet. Perfect. Might have to just shave that down a little bit. Not a big deal. Oh, I'm probably gonna go an inch and a half spacing. I was gonna use the parting tool to cut it off, but it takes too long, so I just cut it in the chop saw, faced it. Now we're gonna drill the holes on both ends, and that we're gonna tap to 3 8 so we can get a bolt in there. One's done, we just gotta tap it, but we're gonna machine the other one first. Sooner we get this done, sooner it's motherfucking beer time. Ah shit, I fucked up. I'm about 25 thou cut too big. Yeah, that gap is too big. Should've been paying more attention, but I was kind of in a rush and I fucked up, so. I will cut in half and uh, I guess we'll start over. It's a problem with machining, you screw up, you can't go back and fix it usually, so good thing I bought extra line. Well, we're all reset, let's try not to fuck this up again. Taking a pretty big cut there, she's heating up pretty good. I'm just cutting the threads, but I have to change taps because this one's dull. When a tap is dull, it's pretty much useless. What I like to do is twist it a bit, back it off, breaks the chip. Twist it a bit, back it off, breaks the chip. Twist it a bit, same thing. And if you feel your tap flex, don't try to force it because if your tap flexes too much, you'll end up breaking it off and then it's game over for you. But I think I got enough threads in it. Yeah, if you don't have cutting oil, motor oil works too.
Make sure to lock tight the shit out of that bolt too. What I found with these tires You gotta be careful how much torque you put on them Otherwise I find They just don't spin properly Well, there we are, both tires are on and mounted, but what I am going to do is I'm gonna weld the crossbar across here just to kind of take out some of the flex that may have in there. And then tomorrow we're gonna work on the intake chute, work on the feet, the handles, and then we're done. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. That was a long day. Machining all those parts, get everything fit up. fucked up once because I wasn't paying attention which I should do more often oh, I'm hoping in the next couple days to get the rock crusher finished and then I can paint it and then it's fucking done I'm gonna try it out of course beforehand before I paint it in case I have to do any kind of modifications But anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. I'm gonna get going. Can you hear that? The wind's starting to blow again, so I wonder if we're gonna get another windstorm tonight. I fucking hope not, because last night I couldn't even sleep at all. But I'll see you guys tomorrow.